So this is going to be a pretty quick video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, selecting multiple tracks in Sony Vegas. At its core, it's really easy to do. You just hold shift and click and drag, and then you select an amount of tracks. But it's not always that simple. Like, let's say I want to move um, just this selection uh, from this track, film, down to narration and I want it from this timeline right here over to this side. It seems straightforward, like you just hold shift and click and drag, but as you can see, it grabbed these clips up here. Now, let's say in this situation, I didn't want to grab those. It, it's not obvious in Vegas how this works, but there is a way it operates when it's selecting multiple clips. I'll just get this out of the way here so it's a little easier to see. For one, you want to make sure that when you're holding shift, you're not grabbing the top or the edge of the clip. I think that's kind of a given if you're familiar with Vegas at all. But the way this works if you want to select a specific segment is when you click in the timeline, Vegas saves that position you clicked in its memory and um, the when you hold start holding shift the next place you click will be everywhere across so if I click right here and then I hold shift and I start clicking and dragging from here it will grab all the tracks in the top layers because I clicked here before doing so to get rid of that you can just click once and then hold shift and click and drag and it will just save whatever position you were in. Another thing that's helpful to note is when you click up here on top of the timeline, if you need to move the, um, what the hell is this thing called? I don't know, you know, this line, your position in the video. Like, let's say the timeline's right here. I click and I want to select over to one of these clips in here but it's so tiny, it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, well, the obvious next step would be to zoom in and then it zooms into the beginning part. Easy thing, since above the timeline doesn't count for the selection, you can click and it won't um, deselect any of your selection, and then you can zoom in normally, and you can just hold shift again and keep clicking forward, and it won't mess up your original position. So really it's just a matter of being mindful of where you clicked before you start holding shift and dragging your cursor across the screen. And again, if I if I click, say, above clips and FX, and then I hold shift in clips, start going over, see, it, it didn't grab any of these because the last place I clicked before I started selecting everything was up here. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, play around with it. It took me a while to figure that out. I spent a lot of time in Vegas trying to select things and getting frustrated because I didn't understand how it worked and like making clips <laughs> and putting them in the top left corner and then making another fake clip in the bottom right corner just so I can get it all but you really you don't have to do that you just have to be clicked in some place and then you're good to go.